Hey guys, it looks really nice. Even right now, we're seeing some puffy cumulus clouds outside on our camera shots across central Indiana. Beautiful scene there at Victory Field right now. We've got temperatures in the low 80s and some even in the mid 70s. So things are cooling off a little bit here, at least compared to where it's been all summer long with this string of hot 90 degree days. Now those are going to be making a comeback here at the end of the seven day forecast. But for now, we enjoy the less humid weather at 80 degrees with no heat index. The dew point temperature at 54 is helping us out and making it feel much more comfortable than 80 degrees can sometimes feel around here. We've got winds out of the northwest at 15 miles an hour. Indianapolis at times has seen winds gust around 25 miles per hour today, so it's been decently windy outside. But just a beautiful scene downtown there. Clear blue skies, just a few cumulus clouds out. Temperatures overnight are going to drop into the mid 60s, so a little bit cooler than we've seen around here lately. Temperature is going to be just slightly below normal overnight. So we're looking right now at dry conditions on our Live Guardian radar and even our satellites staying clear of cloud coverage for the most part and it's going to remain that way for much of the weekend ahead. Right now, our temperature is in the low 80s for some and others in the upper 70s. So cooling off quickly here, 77 degrees in Muncie and 81 right now in Bloomington. And where we get those clear skies overnight, our temperatures drop even more, especially with this dry air that we have moving in. It's going to be dry, less humid, and we will get rid of that mugginess as we head to the weekend. And we're already seeing that happening. So a nice breeze out of the northwest again, around 15 miles an hour on the steady breeze, but gusting over 20 miles at times. So a windy weekend is ahead. And now, despite um, you know, some of the rain that we got through the past week and especially over the weekend, we are still in the hole for the month of July. So we're certainly going to wrap July up on um, a rainfall deficit for Indianapolis. We are down still an inch of rain from where we should be for this month in Lafayette three inches in the hole as far as rainfall goes. And remember, this is the location over the weekend. We got some heavy showers and thunderstorms, even tornado warnings across central Indiana. So that does include Hamilton County, where we still are really close to those abnormally dry conditions and even some in the moderate drought. So we could still be doing better. We do still need that rain to fall, but at least we are looking much, much better on the drought monitor update. Now just 50% of the state looking at abnormally dry conditions. These next couple of hours are going to see clear skies, dry weather. That's what part of what's going to make it a little bit cooler in the overnight hours, waking up to breezier conditions, temperatures in the mid 60s and clear skies. I'm putting this all the way to 6 a.m. on Sunday. Now this I think model run is very aggressive, but I do want to let you know that I think especially south of I-70, this is probably going to be more isolated for us, but a chance for rain does occur early in the morning on Sunday, but this shouldn't be anything to affect weekend plans whatsoever because even if you're up or for that early enough, it's going to be clearing out very quickly into the afternoon. So for the most part, we're looking at dry weather, clear skies across the state for the entire weekend. Now again, those isolated showers to the south on Sunday. Other than that, it will be mostly dry for us. And then our better storm chances are going to be on the way for Monday. That's when we could add some heavier rain totals coming up to our forecast. And then temperatures are going to be on the rise here. An upper level pattern change. We're going to get back into that ridging that brings in those warm temperatures back to highs in the low to mid 90s and that's going to be by the middle of next week but for the most part a drier forecast coming up for us all right Alyssa, thank you also ahead making